Hello, my friends. The greatest problem in the society today, in the society today, in the European and American, North American, North American society, it is how the health system works and the education system works. And these are all, you know, communist system. So uh, let me give you an example. Imagine that tomorrow the government of each country in the European Union will decide that transportation with taxis is of strategic importance because every man and woman and child needs to go to work or to school or to college or to university or to faculty every day. So uh, they will de de declare this domain of, of cab drivers or taxi drivers to be of strategic importance. And all private uh, taxi companies will be uh, eliminated and the government will create one national taxi drivers company. And all taxi drivers will be forced to drive you home or at work for free. And in order to sustain this service, every citizen will have to pay 30% of their um, monthly salary, which is the, uh, the deducted automatically from, from their bank accounts, to the national taxi service. And of course, uh, there will be a, a lot of new uh, officers in the, in the p p p p police uh, involved, which will supervise that all taxi drivers carry their duties with honor. And there will be an oath called the Oath of Hippocrates, which will say that all taxi drivers are forced to drive their clients for free. And uh, for starters, the, um, the new fees uh, for the taxi company will be $100 if you don't have the insurance and $150 per kilometer if you have the insurance. But soon after, everyone will, will be forced to sub subscribe to, to the system. If they cheat the system and they don't have a, a wage, then they will be forced to pay back two years or five years for all the taxi services which, which they do not uh, have. And of course, one will ask why don't these people buy cars? Well, because cars are very expensive, not everyone can afford them. And in order to promote social equality, everyone must be able to go home for free. That is why uh, the job of a taxi driver, taxi driver will, will be a, uh, a very honored job, and uh, their salaries will be 10000 to 20000 up to $50,000 per month and th th they will be the pillars of the new society. That is how the health system works in most countries. And also the, the, for the education system, imagine that tomorrow the government will decide that every citizen needs to have a house for free. Actually in America this, ha this has already happened with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. And they will also need to have food and water for free. Because, uh, you, 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 you know, these uh, things are necessary for survival. Every man, woman and child needs to eat and stay in a home. So the builders will, will be forced to build everyone a house for free. Of course, that, that there will be very cheap houses. <laughs> and uh, because there are not many resources available to the government to make this happen. And every man, woman and child will, will receive food for, for free, of course, very, very cheap food. So let's say a hamburger or, or, or half a hamburger burger per day. And if they have more money, they will support those who don't have uh, enough money to buy the, that uh, half ha hamburger each day. Actually, this is the scenario will, will become true uh, after the, the next world war the next nuclear war. People w w will be so poor that the governments will, will institute this measure of, of a free half a sandwich per day. Also in the communism, in the golden age of Ceausescu, there was a rash, you know, every man, woman and child was allowed to have 100 grams of butter per week. <laughs> and uh, three slices of bread per day and something like that along the lines and two eggs uh, every week i think yeah and <laughs> so equality for all that is how the system actually works and in order to make the system worse a lot of lawyers and courts will be employed and a lot of government officials 
and about 30% of the money will, will be lost in, in moving money around, you know. So the best thing for the health and education system is to let them free, to let the competition pour in, because you don't need to pay doctors $50,000 a month. Of course, there are very good doctors and very good teachers who can uh, be paid even more, but most of them are not. Most of them are stupid and lazy and charlatans and if we encourage uh, you know free uh, free c competition then uh, in time there will be many hiccups but in time the society will sort itself out bye bye